video you're going to learn how to use and read a depth micrometer. So here you can see your depth micrometer. This is basically going to be backwards of a regular outside micrometer. So you can see right here I'm at zero, 00. That's going to be flush on the end there. And with the depth rod that we have in now we can read from 0 to 1 inches. To read different measurements you're going to switch out for different depth rods and those are in 1 inch increments. So to start Let's measure this pocket here, so this hole from here down to the bottom of the hole. We're going to set our base on here, making sure that when I twist this, that the depth rod can go down the base. So you can see as I twist it, de depth rod's going to come out. So I'm going to stick that into the hole. I'm going to twist it down until I hit the bottom. And then when I hit the bottom, I want to make sure I don't go too much, otherwise when you press it, it's going to push the depth mic up. So holding onto the base firmly. I'm just going to slowly spin this in until it touches the bottom of the hole. Once I touch the bottom, I can use the ratcheting thimble up top, turn that to make sure we're at the bottom. Then I can take this and I can perform my reading. So you're going to read it backwards so we can see that the 5 is covered, then the 25 dash is covered, and then we're showing uh, about 16 on the thimble here. So that's going to be 0.525 plus 16. So we're going to be at 0.541. It's going to be our reading for that. Now, let's say we want to measure this bigger hole here. This depth rod is not going to reach far enough. So first, you're going to just take this end cap here, and right between here, it's going to loosen. That'll come off. You can pull your other depth rod out. Grab your 1 to 2 depth rod. Stick it in the hole just like that gently put it, set it in there, and then tightening this up. And don't crank down on this, just snug it up. It doesn't have to be super tight. Now, just like we did before, I'm going to stick the base on top of our part, slowly spin this till the depth rod touches the bottom. Once I feel it hit the bottom, I'm going to use the ratcheting thimble just to make sure I'm tight, and then we can perform our reading. So right here you can see the 3 is covered, then up to the 75 dash is covered, so we got 0.375, and then we need to add 7 to that. So it's going to be 0.382 is going to be our final reading. And that's how to read a depth micrometer.